All right, as fellow parents know, it is hard to get little kids to eat things like their vegetables and other things that are good for them. Got any tricks? Uh, no, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm, I'm open for advice. Yeah, right, especially when most kids' menus only offer things like chicken fingers and mac and cheese. But new research shows limiting a child's food choices may have bad, long-lasting effects. Now, this morning, Erica Edwards looks at the study of extreme picky eating. This is your favorite, right? Most parents have encountered kids who like a food one day. I got a peach up on top. Then decide they hate it the next. Mm. Those are very typical picky eaters. They are not who this story is about. Ever since I can remember, I've always had problems eating things. This story is about a small percentage of kids like Corey Fader, who literally only ate four or five foods growing up. Even now, as a student at the University of Pennsylvania, Corey experiences intense anxiety when faced with consuming anything other than very specific kinds of pizza, pasta, or chicken fingers. They make, make it sound simple. Why don't you just pick something up and eat it? But it's like, if I could just eat it, I can promise you I would have done it by now. Corey's anxiety is illustrated in a new study of selective eating from Duke Medicine. Researchers found kids who were extremely restricted in their diets were also more likely to be diagnosed with depression or social anxiety. These are just sensitive kids. They, they, see, you know, they see things more intently, they feel things more deeply, and that's both in their own internal experience and, uh, and the world around them. Duke's Dr. Nancy Zucker suggests the kids are sensitive not only to the external world, but also to what's going into their bodies, like food. Corey says he's trying multiple forms of therapy to get past his food aversions. My goal is just to be able to get to a point where, where I can fit in socially, I can go out with my friends. Early intervention could be key, so kids can get the most effective therapies possible. Erica Edwards, 41 Action News. And hopefully eat enough to be healthy, get the nutrients they need. Absolutely.